and hear from the Federation of Unions of South Africa because it's calling on the Labour Minister Tulas Nlesi to urgently consider intervention measures to alleviate the impact of the coronavirus on South African workplaces. The union says the minister must provide leadership by urging or urgently engaging government to put in place emergency procedures to assist workers who may be exposed to the virus at work. For more on this, let's bring in FEDUSA's General Secretary, Rifta Jam. Rifta, very good evening to you. Thank you for being on Nightline and for your patience. So, government doing its best again tonight to allay some of the fear around the COVID-19 outbreak but you are not convinced that workers in particular are protected. Why? Well, good evening to you and thank you very much for the opportunity. Um, as you rightfully articulate, we believe that uh, the current situation with regards to workers is simply one that hasn't been carefully thought through. Um, there is a mandatory 21-day quarantine period which uh, exposed workers and the general public have to engage in should they be uh, infected with a virus or in contact with people. And at this point in time, what is important for us to understand is the fact that uh, the current provisions in the um, within the UIF does not allow for workers, firstly, to be away from work for that period of time under the auspices of the sick leave provisions, and secondly, that it will not be deemed as paid leave. Henceforth, the call has been made towards the minister. And this UIF, this gazetting of a special UIF policy that would, in your view, take care of workers who possibly become ill from this novel coronavirus outbreak, how would that work once a person is indeed in quarantine? Well, most importantly, we would uh, urge the minister to, to make that specific emergency uh, ministerial declaration that will activate a special UIF payment. And this will then allow, first and foremostly, for workers to be covered, to be away from their workplaces. Secondly, for them to be allowed to be paid for this period of time. And most importantly, equal, equally taking into account the fact that there may be lost production on the side of the employers so equally so, it would be a balanced approach in this matter to make sure that in times of crises, we equally apply uh, interventionary measures. And in terms of funding, where should the funds be taken from and then redirected to the special provision that you say should be made? Well, currently we are looking at a surplus in the UIF fund um, at the time of the last uh, pronouncement of the uh, of the financial statements there was a surplus of approximately 133 billion in the fund so we believe that adequate measures should then be put in place to ensure that workers in particular are not subjected to a double tax burden where they are forced to go into quarantine out of no risk out of no uh, uh, measures of their own but at the same time to ensure that there is a soft landing for them to ensure that they can be safely and securely uh, be quarantined and at the same time that they would be compensated for the time that they would be away from work due to lost production and salaries and wages. I'm wondering, Rifda, if you as a federation of unions trust South African employers to treat this moment and indeed their staff with the decency that it requires because the reality here is regardless of what protections one may take, the risk of contracting COVID-19 is something that one has very little control over. I agree with you 100% on that matter, and it is for this reason that we have called for crisis measures to be applied during uh, difficult times. Now, in that regard, we are taking a look at a number of our members that are stationed at, at, at frontline positions, at your key points of entry, for example, at your airports, at your hospitals, at your healthcare facilities, and equally so at your schools. And at this stage, we are looking at Charlotte Makeki hospital in Gauteng in particular where two specific cases are being treated and uh, in this in this instance specifically we are calling for more decisive measures to ensure that there's adequate protection in place. Beyond this moment then this COVID-19 outbreak that's gripped much of the world what do you think should be the manner in which that it shapes our labor legislation going forward? 
Well, we we naturally need to put in place more decisive measures. This is this is a time of crisis. This is an unexpected move, and at the same time, with a World Health Organization classifying it as a global pandemic, we need to make sure that we can put measures in place that will not only allay fears, but that will align our legislation to be able to activate funds that will assist us not only in terms of the economic downturn that will be seen here now but equally so to make sure that both employers as well as employees have a soft landing in order to activate such funds.